this Veterans Day, where so many come out in support of those who serve, we want to bring the story of one vet who's taking on an incredible challenge in support of others. Two on your sides, Adam Benini introduces us tonight to a man who is literally willing to cross an ocean to inspire hope and save lives in this Two on Your Side original. So let's make sure we're staying in time. This is a story about service, about survival, and about a mission. Meet Tech Sergeant Chad Miller of Clarence. He spends much of his time on a rowing machine these days, preparing for the trip and the challenge of a lifetime. What possesses a person to want to row across the Atlantic Ocean? There's the unknown. They've overcome, they found that the body can push past the mind. He's pushing his body as he gets ready for the Atlantic Challenge, rowing for the fight or die team, four men in a specially equipped 20-foot self-sustained boat in a race against others across the Atlantic. For me in this row, it's been, it's a little bit of focus on everything that I've been through, everything that people on my team have been through and people before me have been through. What Chad Miller has been through, a veteran of five tours, three in Iraq, one in Afghanistan, and another in the Persian Gulf as part of the Air Force Security Unit Scorpion 1-5, a gunner protecting convoys. You always had the factor of not knowing. The minute you left the base, you knew that it was a whole different ball game. He's seen action, and in 2009, reached an absolute mental and emotional low. And I actually got to the point where I was so low at one point in time to where I just, I knew that I didn't really want to live anymore and walked outside and was planning on calling it a day and calling it for good. And one of my buddies just happened to see something was off and pulled me aside. It was a life-saving conversation, one that Chad Miller now says inspires him to help veterans deal not only with the challenges of combat, but also the challenge of coming home. You get out and there's not a whole lot when it comes to you separate, you kind of lose all that family that you had. You get back to your hometown, it doesn't feel like home anymore and then you find yourself looking for a sense of purpose. And so Chad says this row gives him a sense of purpose. It will raise money to help support veterans making that transition, to raise awareness about the issue of veteran suicide, and to show others, he says, that there is a way forward. But I know that by doing this, it's gonna spread so fast to show people, hey, this is where you're at, this is where I was at. This is where I'm at now. I had a day where I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't know what I was, what I was worth to anybody. And now I'm rowing 3,000 miles to show people this is the comeback. So it doesn't matter where you're at, you can come back from it. For now, it's about preparation for a race that doesn't start until next December. But Chad Miller says he's already doing his best to lead the way. In Buffalo, Adam Benini, Channel 2 Sports. Oh, what an incredible story. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And again, the race is in December of 2022. It starts in the Canary Islands off the coast of Spain, and it ends in Antigua. Now, that is roughly 3,000 miles, and it can take anywhere from 35 all the way upwards, we're told, of 60 days. The teams and the boats are completely self-sustained. It is powerful to wow. think about his motivation yeah. to be in such a dark place. And it's something we take for granted, right, with so many of our military members mm -hmm. and not really thinking what they've gone through when they've been in action. Mm -hmm. My dad was a World War II vet mm -hmm. and experienced and had PTSD, but it wasn't talked about then. You know, right. a lot of those service members just struggled, and it's good that there are resources and awareness like this now. Beautiful story from Adam Benini tonight. Adam, thank you. And speaking of the team and the boat, they were on display at West Her Chevy's store in Williamsville. Chad Miller is a former employee, and so West Her is sponsoring team Fight or Die as they prepare for the race and the journey across the Atlantic.